Uh, we just got done playing Coven and Karm. Coven was good. Karm, not so much. But that's okay. Um, they're not all going to be bangers. But you know what? Uh, we're going to be playing uh, some 20 minutes till dawn. Give me a second to make sure I get the capture right. But we should be getting this under roll pretty fast. Properties. I played the uh, 10 minutes till dawn, essentially demo of this. Just wait until the sale begins and look for the refund menu. Okay. All right, so we'll play as generic uh, Shauna for now, because that's all I have unlocked here. But the 10 minutes till dawn demo I played was like, ooh, number go up game. I like that. Ah, I see. So there is a faster one. All right, let's just play standard for now. The music's good. The intro, like, song sounds like it might be, like... Kevin McLeod or something like that. I feel like I've heard that song prior to uh, playing this game. It's used by a lot of like creepy pasta narrators. bit loud oh yes it is it's super loud sorry about that let me turn it down just a bit Ooh, synergies oh interesting so sort of like vampire survivor it's got synergies but instead of it being like you know fuck around and find out ghost friend light weaponry power mage magic lens that one's new uh, summon a magic lens that gives 30% extra damage uh, when you pass through it. And what does that upgrade to? I love the, the Pink Floyd sign there. Refraction. Focal point. The effect of it is doubled, but... Okay. Pyromage. Uh, you know what? Let's use one of these rerolls. Get a good, solid one starting right from the beginning. Uh, bullet speed down, but... I feel like I want movement stuff as soon as possible. Let's try this one out. Just because we didn't play this on the demo. The killing enemies when they're down to like their last 10% thing will not matter on anyone but bosses. Because I think most of these guys only have like 40 health. So, you know, it's two taps anyway. Okay, another level. Double shot, quick hands. Rapid fire. Quick hands, I believe we liked. Kill clip. Uh, let's go with that. Go and get the oh fucking tree. Can I kill the trees? Like that seems like a thing I should do. It has a lot of health. So if I can, it's not easy. Haste, I feel like, is required. Penetration, ooh boy, that's good. Um, it'll help right now. Like, the haste will help too, and I need to get it, so I need to, like, get it next time I see it, but that was kind of too good to, like, pass up. Like, I got a lot of enemies here that I need to deal with.
trying to aim for the explosive guy in the pack there. The haste would be very nice. What are these creatures? I think they are like brains with tentacles or whatever. Glare. All enemies within your vision range take 25 damage every two seconds. It's adorable. What do you do later on? Glare occurs twice as often. The damage of the glare is... Okay, so... It's 50 damage every second. Um... I'm alright. Like, with the piercing plus the double shot, I feel like that's some good synergy right there. Like, it's just gonna go through everything. It's less good at, like, single target guys, but it's really good at these hordes that I've got. And considering most of the time I'm gonna be fighting hordes, it's probably a good thing to do. Glare is like garlic, but better. That's kind of what I got, but, like... Summon an egg that will hatch into a dragon in three minutes. Do I have to protect it? Weird. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. Split fire. Fresh clip. Sniper. Uh, assassin allows me to kill enemies. Okay. Fire rate increase. I mean, but for why? I think I want this one. Just get my fire rate up even more. I need to get that haste. Good thing I'd already taken damage. Couldn't take more right there. Uh, let's give that glare a go. Considering the damage pool that I've got right now. So I wonder if the horse still comes in at 10 minutes or not. Like in the, uh, the demo. I'm gonna assume that I care. Uh, haste. We need it. It's just required to deal with the boss. Like, you don't move fast enough without it. What do we got? Ascension. Three halo pieces can now appear as upgrades. Uh, collect all three to achieve the halo. Okay. That sounds like a good thing. Who health, please. Uh, halo, please. Three, two, holy shield, egg, glare. The damage is doubled, so it just straight up murders guys now. Hmm. I mean, surely the 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 halo is good. Like I had to kill a really difficult guy to get it. So it must be good. Like Smokey, or Toasty, or whatever the fuck his name was from Vampire Survivors. Totally worth my time and energy to unlock. Max HP plus one. Just that way I don't die to the next hit that hits me. Can I reload by choice? I can, okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, we do have uh, horsey time now.
Okay, I got a level. Giant. I don't really want giant, because I'm already... just. I just want to move fast, you know? Fanfire. Uh, cool. Sure. Yeah, random shooting. Extra shots. That pierce. Shit. I knew I was going to die there. Yeah, one thing I like about this over Vampire Survivors is that you do get, um, like, you're more active, you know? Like, you get to do things, which is neat. Uh, these two were not, or these three here were not available, so who are they? Your bullets have a 50% chance to call down lightning. When enemies are killed, they summon spirits uh, to chase down nearby enemies and deal 8 damage. Right quick, quickly to shoot all of your remaining ammo in random directions. Okay. Uh, maybe we just unlock a weapon? I think we recall the shotgun being very good. Bat gun. Shoots bats that chase enemies down. Bats are both bullets and summons. Okay. Let's go with the shotgun for a minute. Lilith looks really good. Oh, right. I have, like, no range. I'm trying to kill this tree. I'm just gonna see what happens if I do that. Take aim. Spread is less. Do I want that? I mean, extra health is good. How does this go? Um, I think I'll go with vitality. None of those seem particularly... I should have re-rolled. None of those were, like, something I was really interested in. God, they have just a bazillion health. <sighs> Double shot is less valuable on this guy. Take aim, glare... Hmm. Let's try the dragon egg. That's weird. I don't know what that means. And it's early, so if the dragon is good, then, you know, we can get some value out of it. Let's see, we got ghosties, we got haste. Haste is required. Again, I like that when you level, everyone backs off for a second. Like, that's so nice, because in Vampire Survivors, you're expected to just go straight back into the action after, like, contemplating stuff. And maybe you don't remember that there was an enemy right on your ass, you know? So you kind of get cheesed by hits every now and then that game. The, the smaller health pool, I think, is a good thing. I mean, I don't like being on, like, death's door all the time, but I do enjoy that it requires me to play a little bit cleaner than in Vampire. If I get hit in Vampire, I'm like, whatever. Like, I'll heal it back up before it's relevant. You know, it's fine. Uh, quick hands, I think, is pretty much required for the shotgun. The dragon isn't really worth it for how long you have to wait. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh... Holy shield might be good.
That was pretty good right there. All right, uh, Divine Blessing. Reload rate and move speed, 25% extra while Holy Shield is active. That sounds great. Trained Dragon. Your dragon has a 10% extra attack speed every 60 seconds. This ability works even if your dragon still is in the egg. Uh, armed and ready. Extra ammo. Uh, I think it's between Divine Blessing this is two extra ammo, which is pretty solid. Hmm. Will, will you ever stream Quaddy Potty with Mike? What the fuck is that? Uh, move speed increase and reload speed increase is good. And then it's just don't get hit, which is already what I'm trying to do. I've been fighting this tree this entire time. I just want to point that out. Like, I mean, yeah, I haven't been doing consistent damage to it, but in the beginning, I was just like, bam, 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 constantly shooting it. Now I'm just kind of like running away from everything else. It also looks like that they back off when they get, when you get hit. The quarry is what? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I can. Has he already, he's already been streaming it, so I guess I should start streaming it too, since I bought it. Because we're gonna do it as like a co-op thing, but then it turns out it's like couch co-op only, and we were both very sad and disappointed. Ice was really good. Why was that again? When an enemy is inflicted with freeze, they lose 50% of their max HP. Uh, boss enemies lose 1% of their max HP. Okay. I think I just recall this being really solid. So let's just do that. It really hasn't been three minutes yet. The shatter used to be kind of broken. I see. So it's not anymore. And in the demo, that's that's why it was still a thing. Run and gun, walk speed increase. Um, I think that's better than the, the glare. Oh, I have the dragon now. He seems pretty okay. I don't remember what the original tree I was fighting is. I think it's this one, but don't quote me on that. Power Mage, Divine Wrath. Double shot, anger point. None of these are what I want. Increase dragon's effect. Power mage, ice shard. Yeah, that one was good. Yeah, let's do that. Dragon is good if you get it early. Yeah. Also, I'm really low in health and I'm scared. It seems like one of those things that scales really well if you get it early enough. But if you get it late, like, it's three minutes and you've got, like, I don't know, five minutes left or whatever, like, you're not getting any value out of it. You already have, like, a full build at that point, I would assume. Um, frostbite. Sure. Triple the effect of the next upgrade you take. Interesting? Oh, it's it's pony time. Just 
Should probably look for health. I don't think you can just gain health off the floor, right? Like, that's not a thing, right? Or am I an idiot? I'm doing a vague amount of damage to the boss. Okay, um, so the next upgrade I take is tripled in effect. I don't know how that works. Glare. Health is just stuff you have to get upgrades for. Yeah, shatter. I, I guess we'll go shatter. Glare wouldn't be bad, but I don't think it's going to do enough to make it worth. Oh boy! A little Texan came out right there. No, no, no. Tome of speed or elm. Okay, speed is extra speed, but less health. Uh, bullet damage plus or minus 50%, but increase burn damage, lightning damage, and freeze duration by 35%. Tome of rage. So this is like you get a good thing, but you lose a bad thing. Okay. Triple your base max ammo. Fire rate, spread, bullet damage, knockback. I think I just want to go fast, yeah? It was a little too... Oh my god, it's so fast. I mean, that's a good thing in this kind of game. Like, most of my tech is going to be movement, so... The rest of it is just click gun until dead, so... And all it cost me was one pip of health, which I didn't even have anymore, so. Armed and ready, extra ammo. Uh, double shot, divine wrath. I think I gotta... Oh! Strike random nearby enemy for 22 damage every second while holy shield is active. That sounds great. Especially with the, the promise of just being able to leave. Did I miss the health? Might have missed health there. Okay, uh, Train Dragon, Glare. Oh, wow, I misread that. Oh, wow, that's actually really good, but it may not be worth it at this point. Um, at this point, he would gain 12 times 10, 120% attack speed by the end. Uh, yeah, no, let's get that right now. Holy shit, I did not understand that. I should be getting that while he's in the egg, too. I'm such an idiot. I thought that was, like, for 10... Like, for 60 seconds, he gains 10% extra attack. I don't know why I read it that way. Being dumb is, is a chronic problem of mine. Uh-oh.
towed my way out of that one. Please make the enemy stop. I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, I lost my wall. That's not good. That's a lot of DPS and, and protection just gone. We're probably fucked. Shit. Well, I think we can unlock a character now, so that's all right. I want to try Lilith, because she seems cool. She's got like a cute aesthetic going on. I like her little dress. It's good. Nice. It's not much damage, but it counts as a summon, I would imagine. Which means that, like, I could probably... I think the runes on the top right are permanent upgrades. I don't know what you mean. <sighs> Quick hands, dragon egg. Yes, yes. We're going to go dragon root. We're going to be a summoner this time. In the character select screen. Okay, I missed it. Yes, holy shit. It's a really solid start to a build. We gotta wait 10 or three minutes for it to actually like pay off, but it's, He'll have an extra 30% attack speed over the, the one that we had in the last one. Will that be enough to notice it? I don't know. I really wasn't paying attention to what damage he was doing. I just saw him shooting constantly, and it seemed good. Uh, gains 8 damage every 60 seconds. This works. Yeah, sure. We're just going to have the beefiest, coolest dragon ever. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. like we're V, but we still get to do shit. Alright, take aim, rapid fire, quick hands. Yeah, let's get that reload rate up. Need to get the movement stuff, obviously, because I feel like that's how you beat the horse, is you outmaneuver it. Really makes explosion effects super good. Just seeing, like, being able to shoot into the, the explosive guy and seeing how many I get out of it seems really nice. <laughs> This is sort of like regeneration when you think about it, you know? That sounds amazing. I do want to try getting the glare up to a decent amount. 
Uh, strong with summon buffs. So, do I get any summon buffs? Summon damage increased by 40%. That, like, even the dragon? Because, holy shit. Yeah, I'll take it. This is probably not the right weapon for Lilith. We should be getting the dragon in the next, like, minute or so. <sighs> yep. Easy choice. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go off of, like, you know, summon synergies and just try and half, be half decent in general. Haste, I feel like I have to pick Dragon Bond. You're Bullets deal additional damage equals to 10% of your dragon's damage. We've already increased it by 40%. So I increase my damage by... Uh, it's math. We're going with that. That'll scale with the enemies. And that's just good. Oh, shit. That was a lot of damage all of a sudden. We're gonna take haste so that doesn't happen again. They have somewhere in the uh, 40 to 30 health region. It's hard to tell exactly how much. Oh, I've got the dragon now! Summon damage plus 35%, summon attack speed plus 35%. Holy shit! It's going off! It's happening! Oh my god, the summons su spawning off the summons. This game does seem to have like the goal of surviving until 20 minutes, but also survive until, uh, you know, kill the bosses, all that jazz. All right. Trees do damage now. They used to just bump you. That's funny. Um, I'm between glare and fresh clip. I want to try out glare. It's probably bad. But combined with the like chip damage they're taking from the ghost summons, I'm thinking like maybe that just means that randomly they won't hit me. Like they won't be able to just survive being near me. And I don't know if it counts as a summon, but you know. I would like to just be able to move around freely. I also want to kill this tree, so if I don't have to like actively try, that would be great. I don't know what the aura of the thing is. Uh, we do need health. Okay, hold up. In sync. Summon damage plus 15%. Summon attack speed. Your ghost friend now shoots towards where you aim. Uh, summon attack speed plus 50%. I mean... I need the health, but this sounds so good. Just all of the summons.
I'm not even shooting anymore. I don't have to. This is a much better build. Holy shit! Mulched! Uh... Max HP minus one, fire rate down, piercing plus one. The ghosts do add a lot of visual noise, but considering that like it looks like I'm safe. I'm gonna go with Tome of Power. I think that's right. All right, what do we got here? We got Frost Mage, we got Take Game, we got Vitality, we got Magnetism. Does this do anything later? Recharge pickup range plus 20%. Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill one ammo. Excitement pickup range. Uh, after picking up experience gain 35% fire rate for 10 or a second. Watch and learn. I think I'm gonna go with the health. I just feel more comfortable if I had more health. Have I looked at the synergies menu? Not too much, but I should. Shit. I was trying to kill the tree. I should have been paying attention. Summon Mastery. Vengeful Ghost plus Dual Wield. Mini Clip. Let's try Summon Mastery. Stand Your Ground. Gun Mastery. Okay, so we'll try and get Vengeful Ghost plus Dual Wield. I already have Vengeful Ghost, right? Maybe just regular Ghost. don't want to decrease my move speed ever. Oh, elite time. Nice. Mini clip is very good. <sighs> yeah. And I'm sorry, it was Vengeful Ghost and Dual Wield. Okay. Fuck. There's a lot of visual noise and I just see something racing towards me and it's my skulls and it scares me. Run and gun, rapid fire, holy shield. Holy shield is probably the one to take right now because I'm a little bit on the spookled side right now. Run and gun would be nice though. Maybe I just run around without shooting for a second. Unless if they're right in front of me like that. I'm doing a lot better than I was. Let's just say. Like, killing the horsey that fast was kind of fucking incredible. Divine Blessing is good. Magic Lens is good. These are actually all, like, pretty good. Vision range plus 25%. The damage of glare is doubled. 
Run and gun, I think, is what I want. It's more safety. I feel like my DPS is good. I do not feel good about my health. This seems like it cascades out of control real fast. Magic scythe that deals damage to you, okay, cool, or damage to guys around you. I think that's what I want, because that leads to, oh, I mean, it's a summon, so it's good. Um, Yeah, let's do that. It's essentially the Bible, right? From uh, Vampire Survivals. Kill clip, reload rate. I mean, that that seems like it just means instantaneous reloads at this point. Yeah. No, man, that was such a good run. I ran towards that because I was like, I need to get through. <sighs> All right, these runes are permanent. What do they do? Oh. 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 Okay. Um I want to try the dual SMGs with this. And then I'm going to get increased summon damage. And go with that. You can only have one per level equipped, I see. Oh man, my build is really good. Holy shit. This feels so bad now. The shotgun's better. I feel it already. Holy shit. <sighs> Let's go Frost Mage for a minute. The, the SMG seems just not as good as the shotgun. I was I was hoping for a faster rate of fire than this. This is fairly like close to what I would expect from the pistol. Dragon immediately. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go.
like the damage is just so bad on the SMGs that it's it's hard to use. Wait, it affects the gun separately. Is the knife better than the ghost? The ghost gets 50% attack speed and 15% damage. This one just has a 40% upgrade to damage. I think I like the damage upgrade better. I think damage is better than speed, depending on how much of a speed. You want more on-hit abilities. Yeah, probably not the right character for the SMGs. You want to synergize with someone who has, like, every time you hit something, flame damage or whatever. Uh, cool. Yeah, we'll get that early. Jesus. Yeah, if I can get more proc effects, I'd be happy. This is, like, not gonna be the run, but... I'm gonna try and do as good as possible just to get some extra souls so we can get an upgrade or two. And then switch back to either shotguns or switch characters, depending on how well I do. I'm dead. Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay. Uh, extra projectiles. Bullet damage down even more, man. I don't know about that one. Electro mage. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's on hit effects. Well, that was the correct choice, but yeah. You have to use Electro Mage with the, uh, yeah, I think that's true. Scarlet would be really good with the SMG. Um, Spark would be really good. Um... Cost. Ah, it's too expensive. And all these weapons are too expensive. Alright, back to the shotgun then. All these characters are anime girls, aren't they? Like, what do you want, man? Like, yeah, they are. But they're good. Rerolls are really solid. You could get, like, the dragon combo going earlier. The damage of the shotgun, just being able to do 10 damage multiple times to one target with just close range fire with the shotgun feels real fucking good, my dude. Yeah, let's go with Haze for now. Every time you pick something, it doubles the number of other things that can be picked because it branches off into two things when you pick that one. So you dilute your pool a bit every time you pick something. So you need to not be picking stuff that's like just because one level, like you really want all of the things that that thing does in order for it to be worth. Dragon Egg is going to be an immediate choice every time I see it. The sooner I get it, the better. I've been getting it, like, within the first minute, which is solid.
Because, like, if you don't get that dragon on the first or second one, like, you've just, like, added four more things to the pool, which... I don't know how many things are in the pool, but you've you've significantly reduced your chances of getting it. Wow, all of these are like whatever. Um extra speed or health. Uh I'll go with the health for now. Because eventually getting the regeneration would be nice. The more bullet thing doesn't really work. It's one extra shot. But I'm already shooting like four bullets every shot, so it'd be five bullets on the uh, the submachine guns. I feel like it would be better, but anything that's got like a timer on it like that, we want as soon as possible. You need to not take stupid damage like that. I walked into that one trying to get past him. I mean, Frost Mage is good. I, I guess that's the direction to go. It's not really the weapon for this. Again, I feel like Frost, Fire, and Lightning would be a really solid combo on the SMG. Oh shit. Was good. The amount of collateral damage that those skulls do. There's one way of regenerating health as far as I'm aware, and it's down one tech tree. So it's not like the best thing to get hit. Freeze and fire are really solid. Yeah, I kind of want to... I want to try the SMG thing with the, uh... That one girl that I was looking at. That... That crunch. It's good. Alright. We got ghosts... Attack speed plus 50% or attack damage plus 15 and speed up 15. I don't mind him shooting somewhere I'm not. Yeah, let's go for extra attack speed. I kind of want him just like controlling other shit, you know? Like if he's doing chip damage to stuff and then it randomly kills someone. And that springs off a whole bunch of other shit. That sounds great to me. Where I'm aiming is actually not that important, I guess is what I'm saying, which is weird. The vitality is on a timer, which is not great. Eight damage every 60 seconds, so not as good as last time because we were a little bit farther into the run, but it's fine. I should be getting him in the next, like, six seconds here. And then we can start really pushing towards that chest or whatever. Yeah, there he is. Necrophile. 35% uh, move speed for one second when an enemy is killed. Oh, that, that sounds like it'll actually be a problem. I guess it's just an increase in my, my speed in general. <sighs> so, run and gun, I think. Yeah, I guess I don't need it, do I? If there's no other good choice, we'll choose it. 
But as long as I'm killing stuff, I'll have an increase in movement speed. <laughs> Just going for health or, you know, experience rather than trying to fight guys because there's a lot of it just lying around. Uh, so far, that one's the best. Oh, we don't have that guy yet. Let's get the, the dagger. He's got a lot of good upgrades. Well, actually, he's just got one, but he himself benefits from all the other upgrades we're going through. So that's solid. Movement speed is sort of like health if you're good. If you can move fast enough, you generally don't get hit. I'm gonna let my dragon take care of the, uh, the horse and I'm just gonna s focus on surviving for the most part. Uh, in sync. Frostbite is good. I think I want in sync. Frostbite is good, don't get me wrong, but everyone going up by 15% attack speed and damage. I have a lot of things that would be benefiting from that at this point. I have three different summons. And eventually I'll be benefiting off that as well, so. Summon damage increased by 40%. I will take it. Horsey's still alive even after the wall goes down. So not as good of a, like, he had been dead for a minute when the wall. Okay, so not as good as that one run, but still. All right, bullet bounce plus two, bullet percent minus 25. Okay, move speed. Okay, I don't think we need that. Yeah. I just don't do anything more anymore, but you know, it's fine. Oh my God, that reload speed is real bad. <laughs> that I guess my, my gun is just here to make sure guys don't run into me specifically and everyone else does the killing. <laughs> gonna wander around and just not shoot guys because if I do then I won't be able to shoot guys when I need to oh god I didn't see that guy there okay everyone stop being alive okay Frostbite currently looking like the best. Reload rate goes up by 20%. Gets us closer to where we're at. Um, I guess this doesn't matter because I'm not shooting enough anymore. So let's go with the re-reload. Oh, didn't almost didn't see that bullet because there's so much other shit going on. Okay, shatter. 
Okay, Dragon Bond, I think, will probably give me the most damage right now. Shatter is very good. Shatter could be actually broken with this build. And it finishes off that line, so we won't we won't need to be coming back to it. So it, it, it lowers the pool some. There's only one more in that pool now. This wave specifically kicks my ass every time. I legit don't know how you're supposed to deal with this. It's too much shit. All right. Just get good. Yeah. All right. Who was it? Scarlet? Every third shot, yes. And then runes, I can only have one of these. And then I can only have one shield equipped as well, I see. So I, I switch these out depending on what I'm going for. Got it. Want that next. All right, let's see how this goes. It should be pretty good. Did the Lone Star State, wait, what? Get its shit together with electricity? Uh, no, no, we had a, a blackout yesterday. <laughs> um. No. No, they've privatized it and they have no oversight, so they just do it shit. I'm sorry. Like, that's not that's not politics, it's just objective fact. Alright, so this one I want probably movement. I don't really want summons. I want just to shoot all the time always. Rapid fire would probably be pretty good. More DACA. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, this is feeling like it's starting to go somewhere. Reload rate needs to go down, or I need to have some way of ignoring the reload rate. Increased reload, sure. Uh, frost would be real good if I could get it going. <sighs> Is bouncing bullets any good? Bullet bounce. I don't know how that's gonna work. Like when it hits someone, it bounces off them? I already don't feel like I'm doing enough damage. You wanna start a bar fight with me? Hell yeah, dude. This also does have an ammo increase of two bullets, which isn't as big on that as it is on the shotgun, but I, I think bounce is goaded. Okay, so it is actually really good. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty solid. It uh it allows me to shoot behind myself, I guess. <laughs> It looks pretty good. Um, double shot seems good. Pyromage. Uh, I think I want Pyromage over double. Oh, but it's extra procs. Mm. We want the procs to do something. So let's let's increase the procs doing stuff as well. 
One increases the amount of times that stuff will happen. The other one will increase the, uh, you know, what happens. I want them all to line up a bit so the fire thing goes through all of them. Also to get some more health back. All right, light bullets, max ammo, plus bullet speed and fire rate. That's great. Electro mage, yep. Saw it after I read all the way through that other one and I'm like, nope, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right, haste would be good. Siege, 33% chance to not, I mean, that seems real bad to not move, man. Bullet damage increase, double shot. Uh, I think I want double shot because this whole tree is amazing. All right, let's see how this works. Hmm, yes, yeah, seems good. God, the bounce is actually incredible. Like, I'm not even shooting the guys behind me, but they die. Intense burn. Burn damage increases. Frost damage increases. Light bullets. Uh, light bullets are something that we get later. Like, it's fine. It's not, like, super important. Frost would be good. Burn already... When you inflict burn, there's a 0.05% chance to heal you for 1 HP. Yep. I'm always inflicting burn. Fire additional bullet behind you. Okay. Energize. Lightning strikes an enemy. There's a 20% chance to... Oh my god. That just means that I can shoot longer mm, that was bad Gain 10% fire rate every time she inflicts burn. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Yes, please. Um, split fire, fire an additional bullet behind you. Every fifth shot, launch a fireball that deals 40 damage. The fireball also inflicts burn. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not a high chance, but shoot a lot and it doesn't matter. Can you kill the trees? I think you can. They have health. I love the like build up, like it's a like a Gatling gun that I've got going right now. Fanfire, when shooting the last of your ammo, also shoot 10 additional bur bullets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Frost Mage. Um... Fire 
Banfire seems good. Frost seems really good too. More procs, yeah, more procs. I like the effects that I've got. Especially with the bounces, like, it doesn't matter that it's not going anywhere particularly. It'll get there. Something will hit something. There's so many trees. I think I'm going to be taking the Vitality right now because I'm scared. The shoot behind you thing is probably the better choice, but I don't have confidence in my speed right now. Okay, we're, we were fine. Just, you know... Alright, what you got? Bullet bounce plus two, bullet damage minus 25. I don't really feel like I'm shooting for the damage of the gun itself, right? More power, piercing, uh, Tome of Rage, triple your base max ammo. Oh? Oh, but minus 50% bullet damage. I mean, fire rate and... This is good, right? This is everything I want. I'm doing one damage per shot, but it's not about the damage, it's about the procs. Now, if I get that thing where I stand still and I have a 33% chance to uh, not use ammo while standing still, I could get to the point where I just start shooting and don't stop. <laughs> Light bullets, uh, plus one extra shots, not the best. Magic lens, I assume it like rotates around me or something? Mobility is not here. Light bullets uh, gets us to siege, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good build. Dragon Egg's too late. Bullet damage plus 35%. Knockback is really the only reason I'd care about that. Pickup range plus 35%. It does other things, right? Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill one ammo. Okay. 35% um, fire rate for one second, though. Might be good. Oh, I proc the heal. I did. I'm going to probably now because I'm setting everything on fire all the time. There it is. There's another one. It's, it's more of a general fuck everything that direction kind of gun now. It's, <laughs> it's less about... <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I love games like this. Uh, all lightning damage increased by 12. Uh, lightning area effect increased by... Okay. Reload rate increase or that. I mean, this is the top of the tier. 
I, I think we gotta go for that, man. Because that doesn't involve me even aiming at this point. It's just when I shoot, it has a 50% chance per gun. So 100% chance per click to do the thing. Okay, that looks good. Uh, Holy Shield, okay. The one reason I'm thinking about Holy Shield is because there is a lightning effect. What is the lightning effect? Uh, whatever, this is better. Bullet damage down by 25%. What bullet damage? Any synergies that I want? Uh, fan fire plus fresh clip. Max ammo minus 666. What? Electromastery plus fire starter. Oh, okay. Stand your ground. A lot of these I feel like I'll just run into. You think you're the Toho? I'm the Toho. Split fire looks all right. Quick reload. It's between that or quick reload. Uh, kill clip I think will be amazing. We already got fuselade. This is the last one in this tier. Just faster reload, more shooting. The time I'm reloading is the only time I'm not doing damage right now. So the more I can, like the faster I can reload, the better. Android. I bought, um, Valhalla. I know you've been requesting that one for a bit, but I finally bought it today, so I'll be doing it this week probably at some point. Just figured you're here, so I'd give you that. Uh, heads up. Just to finish off this tree, again, the damage doesn't really matter. But there's a chance it sets someone on fire or whatever, I guess. Ooh, this is a special one. Overload. Lightning strikes an enemy creates that is burning, creates an explosion that deals 25 damage. Wonderful. Everyone will now explode. Me, more like faster reloads would be nice. Um, fire rate increases. Do I get like a... Uh, I mean, moving isn't really important to us now. Uh, this is good. There's one that increases uh, reload speed or something like that when I pick up things, so more pickups also just more experience is good there's other things i want most of this right now is just going to go and get experience frost mage i haven't touched yet it could be silly let's do it are there any anti synergies with frost and fire Like, doesn't seem like it. Siege was there. Yeah, but I still want to get experience. <laughs> All right. I shard, sure.
I believe this is the farthest we've made, made it because I don't recognize these guys. I think we passed by the silly wave that's almost impossible because uh, we just are ourselves almost impossible to get in here. Summon stuff doesn't help here. No, that's why I'm not getting the bug, the lightning bug. I'll get it at some point if I have to, but like there's still other good things. Increases bullet damage by 50% for one second. Oh my god. Siege it is then. I should uh, go pick up this experience at some point, yeah? They're actually shooting projectiles now, which is scary. Bullet damage, burn damage up. Huh, that's amazing. It's like you just said, increase burn damage. There is no downside. <laughs> there was a boss, yeah, I saw him. I was hardcore targeting him, so he was under the Kamehameha wave. All right, uh, frostbite or armed and ready. Max ammo plus two. Oh my God, Pog. <laughs> um, armed and ready. Ten percent faster reload. I mean, it'll get us to kill club quicker. I mean, no, nothing's a bad choice at this point. I feel like I'm pretty solid. This is not a make or break decision on those. Like, I have more experience than I can pick up. The siege thing is cute, but it means that I'm not getting experience. So like, I'm kind of not using it that much. Almost seems like it's worth it to not shoot sometimes. So that way they all bunch up so I can collect all the experience easier. Stand your ground. Plus two projectiles. Move speed. Minus 25. Fire rate. Plus 25. Okay, game. Never mind. I guess I'm done moving. If I need to dodge, I'm fucked. What's that bitrate look like? Kill clip will mean an instant reload. It's 5% per enemy killed, and I, I feel like I'm killing at least 20 enemies per magazine. I can't imagine trying to do this without having a build this ridiculous. Can I turn off the rumble? Camera shake off, thank you, yes.
It's a little bit much right now. Shatter. Uh, adorable. <sighs> Feels vaguely unnecessary. I need kill clip. I think I like this build more than the summoner one. I mean, it seems more effective for one thing, but also just like the visual noise isn't as much of a problem because I'm not going anywhere. So if I see something moving, I should just aim my gun at it. Recharge. Pick up range plus 20%. Every experience thing has a chance to refill one ammo. And then. Right. Eventually turns into every time I pick something up, then I increase my fire rate by 35%. Which just means more shoot. Cool. Got him. Alright. Electricity. Uh, speed, damage, uh, bullet bounce, I guess is the correct answer here. Because. More proc per bullet. How? I actually got hit? Let's see how long it takes for the fire to regain my health. Actually, quite a while. Weird. Figured it wouldn't take this long. Oh, there's a boss over there. Oh, Jesus. As more enemies come, the faster I shoot. <laughs> Kill clip. All right, so let's see if I can just stand in place and shoot once I pick this thing up. Oh my God, my reload speed is instantaneous now. Your burn lasts twice as long for whatever that's worth at this point. I'm gonna try and kill this tree. The reload speed is ridiculous at this point. I killed it. I got it. And go pick up the experience I got from killing the tree. Well, killing everyone else, but the tree happened to be involved to some degree. <laughs> I love the little sprint I do because I'm reloading. <laughs> oh. Increased bullet damage by 50% after shooting. I mean, I guess. Sure. What does that bring the damage for the bullet to? Like, who knows? I can't even tell. Mini clip. Okay, what does this mean? Because that scares me. 
reload rate 100% bullet damage plus 50% minus so it's like one shot do not get yeah because it's just going to be one shot repetitively right let's get this out of here so you get more options do it it'll be funny no I don't think I will that seems obscenely bad it's one shot All right, excitement, yes. Increase fire rate by 35% after I pick up experience. That's what I was going for. So I'm gonna shoot even faster now. I'm just gonna shoot in the direction I'm walking. Oh, there's a lot of guys over there, let's kill them. All right, um, frost, sure. The reload needs to be short enough to make it so I can shoot more. Like it is now. I mean, I guess movement speed. The glare seems real bad now, cause like, yeah, I'm gonna survive this. Unless if there's a boss somewhere that I'm just not seeing. I, I think we, I think we did it. We're just gonna do fireworks for a minute. I wonder if I get anything for getting more experience. Like, I mean, sure. Yep, <laughs> yes I did survive. Holy shit, look at all that. Whoa. Whoa, wow, all right. Damn, okay. So much unclaimed experience, I just couldn't get to it all. Oh, this is like you got one win, I see. <sighs> okay, what other guns seem good? Bat gun seems fun with Lilith, sure. Diamond seems so boring in comparison. Grenade explosives can hurt you. That sounds bad. Okay. And then... After shooting all of your ammo, deal... Uh, damage to all nearby enemies. This damage is equal to 20% of your bullet damage per rank. Uh, element barrage after inflicting freeze or burn 50 times gain 50% oh my god
Wait. That's amazing. Holy shit. Bat gun plus spin girl. Spin to win gun? Okay. We'll do, uh... I have no context of who you mean from Sinran Kiraga because I haven't played the game. Despite working at the anime store for that time, I, I never bothered to find out anything about that series. Uh, pickup range plus 30%. None of this is super relevant to us, right? I speed ran it? No, I didn't. I, that was, um... I don't know how to pro listen. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce the, the anime titty game. Like, not sorry. None of these are good. I mean, I guess that's cool. The bat gun already feels really strong. It's got auto aim on, which is nice. Dragon, please. Yep. Yes. It's like pretty reliable to get the dragon before the, the 19 minute mark. Or the first minute, I guess it is. I actually have to like try again and I'm confused. I'm like, why am I not just being safe? Like why, why are there enemies close to me? What, is, what's, what is that about? We need to get the uh, dragon upgrades as soon as possible. I'd like to get some of the ghost upgrades because these are summons as well as bullets, which is important. So I got it at 19, which means at 17? No, at 16 something. Uh, rapid fire, haste, let's go for haste. That's always solid. Except for when you're just shooting so many bullets, it doesn't matter anymore. Mini clip with this gun does sound pretty solid. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, kind of doesn't matter at that point. Double shot is pretty good. Armed and ready. Max ammo increases. Two shots. Fire rate increases. We could get bouncing bullets. I don't think bouncing bullets does anything with the bat gun. That would be weird. Don't take the triple upgrade boost. Then pick the dragon attack speed booster. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that would be a problem. I'm scared. You need some way of healing. Gotta do it. We'll get the ghost next time. Yep. I'm too slow right now.
I got about one minute until I get the dragon online. So let's just, uh... Let's just stay moving. Oh God, I didn't see that guy. Yes, thank you, dragon. Please help. I'm scared. Ah. I don't know if I can get to that chest. My DPS may not be high. Mm. Shoot a bullet behind you. I think that's better than shoot 10. Oh, 10 random bullets might be better than one bullet behind me. I think fanfire is better here. Thirty-five percent extra move speed for. Okay, fine. No! I was trying to move, but I was stuck in a reload. <sighs> okay, one more go. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Then, then we'll switch to Devil May Cry. One more. I'll probably do a stop and start. The YouTube has been real slow on its uh, uptake on stuff recently, so. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really care about the damage explicitly of the gun. I think what I care about is having more summons because more summons is more good. So I think faster reload and fire rate is more important here. It stacks with both types of damage, right? So I don't need to focus on doing bullet damage. I just need to focus on doing summon damage. Because like the dragon, which I'm gonna bet for some reason is gonna be right here. It's not, that's bad. Uh, I'm gonna go with the knife. It was the first time that wasn't within the first two levels. That's not good. Because like I said, my odds of getting it are going down drastically every time I pick a different upgrade. As long as it's not down a path that I've already chosen. If I choose one that's down a path I've already chosen, then I, I'm not increasing my... Okay, so I want to go for... I mean, double shot is really good. But it... it... It increases the number of things that I could be getting, and I really want to get the dragon early, so I think that means that we just go for other, like, the stuff that we've already got. Shit, the bed. Hmm. There's dragon. Okay, cool. So then at 15.30, we'll get dragon.
This feels like it's got a lot of the same energy as the shotgun does, but different. It's like a homing shotgun with less shots. And bounce. Which is actually, and no pierce. It's actually kind of bad. That's just increasing my damage by 40%. That's good. That should help. Shit, I keep getting hit because I'm slowing down to like shoot and that's not, I need to really pay attention to like behind me. Because I can't really target things much with this gun. It's kind of weird. I'm not totally sold on the bat gun. I'll be honest. Not getting hit is the priority here. Yeah, you're right. Let's go with vitality just so I don't... Oh, but that's so good. Jesus, it's going to take forever to get the dragon at this rate. Oh no. We do not have the fire rate to do this. <laughs> we don't have the movement speed to do this. I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. I'm so dead. Oh, the level. I forgot that it knocks them away. Bat gun is rough early, but gets better later. That that makes sense, because if I get like, you know, I mean, it's already slightly better than when I got it, because it increased the damage by 40%. That's great. I need run and gun, or whatever that's called from the movement tree. Because right now I'm just evading. I don't even have time to stop and shoot. <laughs> Okay, that means that I need to go and get experience. I need to like run from these guys and get the experience as soon as possible because I'm 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 in a bad way. Things are only gonna get worse if I don't get my shit together soon. <sighs> There's vitality. Yeah. I've got some distance between me and them. Oh, the dragon egg keeps freaking me out. It should be, there it is. All right, cool, good, 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 good. Haste, yes, please, thank you. Is there anything better? No, I think that's the best thing I could possibly get right now. Like, holy shit. Just outrun. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, 20% damage on Lilith summons when additional, and an additional spirit when enemies are killed. That's amazing. I think there's one right next to me here. Uh, reload speed, rapid fire, glare, 
Plague of Bats now, you need Power Shot, and then you get Splinter. Uh, Power Shot, and then Splinter. Enemies explode into three bullets when killed. Oh my god. Yeah, actually, I do need that. Thank you for the heads up on that. Whoo! Oh, that was close. All right, what do we got? Tome of Power, Bullet Damage, Bullet Size, Piercing. Tome of Rage, Bullet, Fire Rate, Spread, Damage. Summoning, Summoning, of course. How bad is my reload? It's not that bad. Is this the full version of the twin stick? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, Splinter, yes. I was gonna look at other ones, but that one is so incredible. And do I even need to, I don't even need to kill them in order for it to, oh my God, it's just happening. That was such a good upgrade, thank you. I just need to find enemies that are weak enough to die to being shot. It just cascades now. Holy shit. Ghost friend. Uh, I think ghost friend, yeah. Moss eater, thank you for the sub, my dude. Splinter probably would have been good with the uh, the elemental thing too. That one needed less help than this build did, though. That that build was doing just fine, like pretty much from like level two on. It was like getting silly. Multi shot would be solid. Like, none of these? I mean, I guess burn? I don't shoot fast enough for lightning. So I guess, I guess the burn. It does give her heals, right. Okay, that's something. I've stopped shooting, it's still happening. And there's a chance that the... So when they explode into three bullets, that counts as me shooting, right? Does that mean that I get... Oh. Also, the dragons burn. Okay, there's a lot of burn synergy here. Big shot. <laughs> Big shot. Bullet size. I think that sounds great. Uh, yeah. Bigger bats. I don't notice any difference in the bat, like, bullet size. I'll be honest with you. They look the same. I guess it's a 50% increase, but like, I feel like I should be able to see that. Rapid fire. So that's, I mean, that doesn't really do anything. Um, fresh clip. That sounds good. I mean, shooting's really not my thing anymore. So I guess I didn't need that, but mm, yeah, I just didn't need that. That was a bad decision. Freeze with this many things is probably the correct answer, yeah. I am enjoying shooting randomly without actually trying to figure out what's happening near me. That's kind of fun with the bat gun. Um, fire starter. 
Sure. I mean, that's not great with this build, but I might as well get it. Get me to that last tier of the fire thing so I can get what I actually want. Deep IO. I haven't heard of that one. I didn't play a lot of the IO games, I'll be honest. Like, not required, but would be cute. Deals as much damage as your bullets. Think I'm okay without that? This will just allow me to move and shoot. And that's just more bullets, which is good. I think run and gun is a solid upgrade. It's one of the best ones in that tree. Frost Mage, uh, someone pointed out, really solid when you get to shatter effects with this many bullets on screen. Jesus. <laughs> Do the skulls count for it too? Tame Dragon, really, I still haven't gotten that. I mean, I guess let's get it now. Increase the attack speed by uh, 10 times. I mean, that's 100% by the end, so that's that's good. S Wish I could have gotten it earlier. The bats are one of two animals known to... mammals known to hibernate in snow. The other is polar bears. Huh. I didn't know bats hibernated? Hibernation is so fucking weird. Just like, weather sucks, I'm gonna go to sleep now. That's such a weird concept. How did nature evolve that? Reaper rounds. Uh, piercing plus one bullets additionally pierce killed enemies. Or shatter. Um, that's just gonna be a ridiculous number of shots. You want reaper rounds over ice shards? I mean, double shot is good. We'll get to it. Reaper and double. Okay. Seals are mammals. Okay. Yeah. My DPS is actually going down because there's less enemies on screen. Like, I can't kill guys in order to get them to spawn bullets and skulls if there aren't guys. This is a problem. Frostbite uh, versus shard. I think we want the shard. So is that just more random shots going around, killing things, causing skulls and bullets to appear? Yeah, double shoot. <laughs> oh, I took damage. Oh shit, that's bad. I need to be more careful. Uh-oh. Yeah. I saw that one coming. Summon two seismic wards that knock back enemies every 10 seconds.
Fire heals are goaded. New patch will increase uh, perks. Sure. Start your game with your HP at half your maximum HP. Bullet damage and fire rate increase. Okay. When enemies die when burning or frozen, there's a 5% chance per rank of spreading their status to nearby enemies. Oh my god. All right, well, I said that was going to be the last one, and uh, I fucking lied. But what, one more. It's a simple game, but again, like Vampire Survivors and a lot of games like it, or Balloons, it's just, you pop the things and then, oh, oh, that was nice. There's a little, little endorphin kick, because I killed a guy. And then look at all the bullets, it's the pretty effects on the screen. Oh man, like there's so many guys, I, I hope I have a way out of here. And then they die and it's like, holy shit, I'm doing great. Oh, dragon, where are you? Holy fuck, that's not good. Power shot is really good. Especially early, because I'm not doing enough damage right now. Dragon can be a crutch. I feel with Lilith, it's good. Because it's more summons. I guess I don't need it, but it increases my damage of my weapon as well by like whatever amount <sighs> uh, I think I want the ghost so you can get run and gun as soon as possible. I mean, that sounds solid. And it is sort of like, I mean, yeah, it's gonna bite me in the ass if I don't get it soon. Uh, let's, oh, but it's summon damage. You know what? No, 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 let's, let's get haste. Because if I can move, then I can get experience, which means that I can level faster, which means that I can get sharpen or whatever, you know? Like, I just need to, I need to be able to level fast enough and not be taking damage, crucially. If I can get run and gun, then I'm not going to be taking damage from, like, stopping to shoot or whatever. There it is. <gasps> oh, but there's dragon. I kind of want the dragon. 15 minutes, 6 seconds. <sighs> I was stuck by the tree there. That was not good. That was scary as fuck. I think I might need to eat here in a minute, maybe before we do Devil May Cry. So we might have to come back to it. Big Shot is good. It's not required though. Splinter is required. Fuck. Gains eight damage every 60 seconds. And then this one is 10% of your dragon's damage. Okay. So by the end, how good is that actually? By the end, I do the dragon's damage. So let's say the dragon's doing eight damage out of the gate. It's not. We'll call it 10. 40% uh, of that increased. I think splinter. 
Splinter is maybe better, but this is this is better the sooner you get it. Let's just get it. Eight times seventeen is definitely a number that I can't do right now because I got a low key headache going. I think it's a hunger headache. I ate like a slice of pizza and some potato chips. I had a goblin feast for lunch today. Reload rate, rapid fire. I mean, I don't think this is necessary. Yeah, that's not necessary. I think I want big shot just to get it out of the way. gun 100% yeah let's go one thirty six and I get an extra forty percent on top of that so that's gonna be like two hundred and then I get ten percent of that so it's twenty damage by the end of the thing that I'm doing That's okay. I think I can get Dragon Bond later. Splinter will have a more immediate effect. Yeah. Splinter, just once it starts going, it doesn't stop. Thirty-five percent move speed. Not not the best one, but it's all right. Summon attack speed or more shots. Uh, why don't we do the fifteen percent extra damage too? Shooting more is less important than increasing what the shots do, because I'm really not doing that much individually. It's really just, we've got the cascade going, so it's better to have the individual hits do more than, I guess, me shooting more. Oh my god, that's so late. Oh, we should be getting him soon, like any second now. That should increase our DPS as well. I got him at like what? Yeah, there it is. Do I move faster when reloading? I move faster just in general while not shooting, but I still have whatchamacallit. Let's go for that. Oh, but the Frost Mage. The Frost Mage, I think, is going to do more in the long run. Yeah. Mm, feels good. Hear lots of crunchy sounds. Again, it's not my shots that really matter here. It's everything else. Tome of Elements, Elasticity, Speed. All right, Bullet Bounce, Blood Damage. I think I want Elasticity, right? Or is Bounce good here? Bounce 
Bounce is good because it's more hits per shot. Okay. Yeah. So the bats already have like one bounce. Is that the case? So it's like three bounces now. Yeah. It works with splinters, so I'll kill a guy and then it'll like send out three that bounce off of like four guys, killing them, and that's 12 more shots. We start going exponential with shots, I think. <sighs> Reaper rounds look good. Rapid fire's fine. Um. Yeah, piercing is nice. How does piercing interact with bounce? What's prism do? I, I've had it as an option, but I didn't pick it up. I don't know off the top of my head. Build feels functional now, so that's good. Uh, sharpen 40% extra damage across the board. That sounds great. I don't think I need health. I'm doing okay right now as long as I'm playing smart. I would like it eventually, but I don't need it right now. I just need to keep a lookout for guys that are close to us and guys that are shooting. More shots, I think, is the more important thing here rather than damage. And then we can increase the damage with the the dragon. I didn't even see what I ran into there. Yeah, I think I need to eat some food here in a minute. We might do that in between uh, now and ooh. I mean, that seems really good. Do I just hear, hear something scary running around? I think I do. I think I hear the big meteor guy. Fusilon, double base projectiles spread increases projectiles increase is there anything else i can do to increase the number of projectiles i have just let's go with fuselade yeah How much are my bullets doing? Two damage, is it? It's not the best. Oh, it's very hard to tell what's happening. Rapid fire. 
It's between split fire. Split fire is an extra shot. I think that's more important. It's one extra shot, sure, but it's it's behind, so it's already going in whatever direction back there. So it'll it'll find something to go kill. Might want to look into the fire mage stuff. Yeah, that sounds legit. Because right now we're getting a lot of hits with not a lot of damage. We're mostly rolling off the proc from the ice. So if we can do fire, I think that would be good. I don't think I'm doing enough shots to make lightning a thing. Uh, vengeful ghost. Okay. Pyromage. I think, yeah, we want to go for pyromage at this point. Is it time for vitality? I think so. When does the demo for Sunbreak come out? I didn't see it on Steam. I'm excited for it. It means more video games with the wife. It's already out. The demo is already out. Oh, well, shit. Uh, Sunbreak. Because I already have Rise. I played it a bunch. Burn damage increase, uh, I think is the right choice here, yeah. Because that affects the dragon, which is nice. The homing on the back gun becomes beneficial rather than a detriment once you have enough shots that uh, something will get over there, you know? Like right now, it's good, but when you first start, it feels like sometimes the bullets are like, I feel like going this way instead, and it's like, I really need you to not, though. Like there's a guy right in front of me that's gonna be a problem, but I think we, we got it. Almost ran into a bullet there. Summon damage plus 35% and 35% attack speed as well. That's just, uh, I need to get the dragon thing so I increase all the damage. I think if I see someone shooting, I need to like run at them and kill them. Good time for the dragon thing? I think so, yeah. It's gonna be the next upgrade I get if I can. That one's good. I think frostbite's better. Percentage of damage is good, yeah. Against bosses, that means you needed him a hundred times. And with this many bullets on screen, that isn't actually bad. I don't know what the proc rate on the frost is, but so it's probably more than that. It's like 200 damage to kill a tree. Yeah, I, I don't feel like this is the build to kill trees with. 
You don't actually really get anything for it. It just removes the tree, which is nice. Let's get this to just increase our overall damage. Uh, this should be a pretty decent upgrade at this point. Because it's all of the bullets increase by 10% of whatever the dragon's doing at this point. And he's doing decent damage, I think. Killed a tree on accident. That's cool. Yeah, I might, might make myself like a quick sandwich or something. It was something I wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to get this dragon thing online, but it was just always the least good out of the options. And more procs was better, but now we can kind of splurge. Because now we're doing like 20 damage per bat or something like that. 24 maybe? It's hard to tell. There's a lot of numbers and I can't tell what's associated with what. So, answer is a good number. 16 maybe? I don't think I've ever played a um, Earthbound game. I really don't like JRPGs because I just don't find the story entertaining enough to justify it. Uh, when you inflict freeze, you also inflict burn. Uh, or shatter. I think that sounds good. Just increases my chance of getting burn off. Earth bong. Yeah. Yeah, more burn for warmth to proc. Yeah, because I'm down two, right? So. Uh oh. Oh, there's a spookle here. I didn't even know. Oh, Jesus, you actually shoot? I didn't know that. Tome of Power. Okay, so there's a summoning one. It's gotta be Tome of Summoning though, right? That increases my damage by 5%. I think that's math. Quick hands, that's the start of one. I don't really want to start another one. I think we want to finish off ice. Summoning a rage for memes. Uh, let's get a couple more wins under our belt. You know? I like the idea of progressing in this game. Progress is very important to me as a human being. Um, which is a lot of the issues. Oh my god, did I just have a discovery? I think a lot of the issues I have are based around progress. Holy shit, that was a really good, insightful moment right there. I started figuring that out yesterday, but... That's, uh, that's good. That's progress in of itself. That makes me happy. Uh, summon damage plus 15%. Sure, that increases my damage by what? 1%? Hooray. Summon damage plus 20% when I... Oh, yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I'm always going to take the, the chest ones because they seem like they're specifically built for your character, and as long as you're building on whatever your character does, it's always good. Even still, it's like there's no downside to it, so you might as well take it. Firestarter? 
Yeah, I've been ignoring it for long enough. Is Texas fixed now? They had to turn it off and on again? No, just the power grid. Unfortunately, they didn't turn the rest of it off and on again. Um... Bullet velocity could be good at this point. Okay, yeah, because it bounces more. Do I have anything that does that? <sighs> I mean, fire rate, I guess? It's more bounces? The aim tree? Really? Penetration, that's good. Automatically kill enemies below 20% health. That sounds great. I'm sure they'll be just tagged for random amounts of damage and then eventually they'll get close to that. If I could reset Texas and fix it, but everyone loses the last five years of their life, it would mean that I wouldn't remember being married to my wife. That's pretty rough. Am I exempted? Is my wife exempted from this? Because now you've actually caused a problem. It's for the greater good? I guess I'd get to marry my wife again, but it was like... I mean, it was fun. It was expensive, but it was kind of scary. I guess we could get married again. And then when we go down to the court and be like, we'd like to be married, they would be like, you're already married. The fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's like, oh, but then I wouldn't get to remember my wedding day. Dude, that sucks, man. That's rough. I know it's for the greater good, but Jesus. I'm going to choose piercing. Like, getting married, if being married is something that you're interested in, it is one of, like, the best moments of your life. You know? Not remembering that is so rough, dude. I mean, the wedding itself was fun, and I've joked with my wife being like, oh, we should do that again. She's like, no, it was stressful. <laughs> we just kept it simple. And I think that's the way to do it, honestly. You'll find someone, Touch Grace. Don't worry. Just be the best possible version of yourself you can be, and it'll work out. I'm scared that I might die here just because I can't see what's happening anymore. I can't tell if I'm in danger because I can't see them. Oh, there's one very close to me. Shatter is good. I think shatter is the way to go here. Jesus. Oh, I only need to survive another 33 seconds. Let's just survive. Gotta catch them all, achievement unlocked. I guess that's like have all of the, uh, the summons. That was pretty good. 
Enemy projectiles are red, but enemies are like green, which is the same as like the background. Um, I'm, I swear I'm not going to start another one. Oh, this is like what rank you did the thing at. Okay. All right. One of these was really good. I think it was this one. Yeah, no matter what my build is, that's really solid. Oh my god, how much is this per rank? 6,000! Okay, fine. Ooh! Oh, wow, that's good. I need to get there. Okay, well, that'll be for next time. It's like when Mike says no more runs. No, I've already done one more run like twice. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna figure out some quick food. I'll be back at five or so at the latest, if not sooner. Um, survive the night with eight summons at the end. Holy shit. I mean, I guess the guns count. So that's kind of, uh, that's kind of one too. Let me check the Boru. There's a new art. There's actually two new arts. Let's check these out real quick. I got one from Sauerkraut. Uh, this is really good. Hold up. A little bit of uh, March of the Mice action here. There we are. Let's zoom in on that a bit. And then make it so you guys can actually see it. There we go. Uh, we got we got Bree doing a whole bunch of stuff. If you haven't watched the, uh, the March of the Mice, you should. You should also watch The Town of Nowhere. Uh, what all do we have here? We have Bree playing Perfect Break badly. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, I think that's Bree eating dirt. Okay. Um, Brie that time they murdered someone uh, Brie that time that they got held up for their scarf these are like critical key cute moments well I mean getting held up is not cute but these are very good mice drawings they're better than my mice drawings <laughs> they have a lot of character Uh, let's see what Sauerkraut has to say about this. Nothing. Just incredible art. All right. Well, thank you, Sauerkraut. And then we got this one from, uh, Static Sipaku. Uh, based on a recent Minecraft stream VOD where he plays, uh, songs at 2.5 speed over top of each other. They don't sound quite right thanks to the program I used to stretch them out. Uh, but for the sake of a horror genre... That the Vineboru's comment section won't let me say due to a dirty word in the first four letters, it kind of works. A horror genre. Due to a dirty word in the first four letters. What is it? It's like, uh... Analog, analog, anal. <sighs> right. Okay. All right. Rev is in the garage, and every half minute he adds some more baloney to the mix. I don't think we'll listen to the full five minutes, I'll be honest with you. Actually, we could speed it up slightly. If it's at 0.25 speed, then if I double it, then it's at 0.5 speed.
It's the sailing music, and I'm trying to figure out what else is in there. Also, what are we doing this week for Analog Horror? Um, the uh, something or other hypnotic archive, probably. Let's skip to the end a bit. I'll be honest with you, this is a clusterfuck. <laughs> I can't identify any of the songs at this point. Did you do the video that's a camera feed of a house and it's called This House Has People In It? I don't think I have. Interesting. Um, This house has people in it, you say. Uh, This house has people in it okay all right it was an adult swim bit oh hmm okay well i'll be right back i'm gonna go have a little bit of a snack just to get my head straight because i feel like my blood pressure or blood sugar levels have dropped like a brick uh but i'll be back uh at five at the latest with uh double may cry so uh oop, don't want you guys to see that i'll see you guys in uh 20-ish minutes be right back 